What's up, money lovers? This is Vinny from the Investment Club. Today we're looking at the EV market and Tesla's competitors. Tesla definitely has competition coming its way, but they have a huge first mover advantage. Their cars are way ahead of the competition. Also, Tesla actually has cars, which is more than some of these companies can say. Nikola is targeting a 2022 launch date for its Badger pickup truck. There is so much that's not going on with this company, I wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. There's been nothing concrete yet, and we don't even know if this hydrogen concept will work, let alone be feasible. It's going to require building an entire network of stations, similar to Tesla's supercharger network, that will be filled with hydrogen, which will need to be transported there. Tesla built its vast network of superchargers from the ground up. Nikola plans to build 700 fuel stations across the U.S. and Canada by 2028. This company can run out of money at any step of the way. They don't even have a working truck yet. I digress. Tesla was built from the ground up. This is how all great companies start out. There was no funding rounds where they raised billions of dollars from venture capitalists. There were no acquisitions and mergers. These companies that start out with all the hype and no product are doomed from the beginning. Next up, we've got NIO. If you look at their website, you'll find it is very similar to Tesla. They're doing a lot of similar things. Now, this is crazy, but this company actually has a source of revenue. Yes, they actually sell working cars. Amazing, right? Now, the stock has run up quite a bit, and although this company has revenue, it is still losing a lot of money. If you like the video so far, please don't forget to subscribe for more content. I read all the comments, and I'm always looking for requests on what to make videos on next. Tesla Tesla will have serious competition in the coming years. Ford is releasing its Ford Mustang Mach-E, which has comparable specs to the Model Y. It has this cool touchscreen center console, a very original concept and design. Not. Ford's vehicle will appeal to a different customer base, and these people were probably never likely to buy a Tesla in the first place. Ford is a company that's been in the house of pain. The stock has been suffering. If we look at Ford's balance sheet from their Q2 earnings, they have $238 billion in debt and total liabilities. $238 billion. Ford will have to scale its EV production up, which will force it to take on even more debt. While other legacy automakers may not be in quite as bad a financial predicament, they will face the same problem of trying to scale up EV production while all their factories are still built to produce ICE cars. It is going to take a long time and they may not see profits for their electric vehicles for years. All this while eventually scaling down their ICE vehicle production, it's not looking too good for Ford and it will take a miracle to successfully pull this transition off. Tesla only produces electric vehicles, so all of its factories are already fitted to scale production. Tesla is in full expansion mode. They just finished Gigafactory Shanghai earlier this year. They've started construction at Gigafactory Berlin and are breaking ground in Texas. Who knows where we'll be next? As long as they continue to innovate, it will be impossible for anyone to catch up. Let me know what you think in the comments below and if you want me to do an in-depth analysis of any other companies. This is Vinny from the Investment Club and I'll see you next time.